fly. In this video, we're putting our scientist hats on to see just how many shades of orange we can create from scratch. Then we'll take those orange colors and use them to bring our beautiful monarch butterfly drawing to life. Ready? Here we go. Yeah. I've got my drawing here. Pause the video to copy it onto your own paper, or if you want some extra help on drawing it, check out this video for a step-by-step -step lesson. And you might be wondering, um, Miss Lauren, why is the butterfly holding a suitcase? Great question. Stay to the end to find out. Now let's see how many shades of orange we can make by creating a color palette. Take out your second piece of watercolor paper and some tape. We're going to tape down all four sides of our paper. And while you're doing that, a little fun science fact for you about monarch butterflies. <clears throat> Did you know that monarch butterflies are famous for their colorful wings? And the cool thing is, their wings are actually made up of hundreds of tiny scales, each a different shade of orange. <clears throat> Wonderful. Now that your paper is taped down, rip off two new pieces of tape to tape down on your paper like this so that you end up with three columns. We're going to fill up these columns with beautiful shades of orange. Do you know what two colors mixed together makes orange? That's right, yellow and red. Let's wake them both up. Give your brush a good swirl in your water cup and then Gently brush yellow a few times like this. Rinse, and then do the same thing to red. Great, it'll be a lot easier to use these colors now. Our first column is going to be yellow-orange. Yellow-orange is a beautiful color. Reminds me of golden sunsets and sunflowers. Load up your brush with yellow really good, like this. Now, don't be shy here. I mean, really get a lot of yellow on your brush. Once it's loaded up and it's completely covered, we're, we're still going. All right, now we're ready. <laughs> Once it's loaded up, find a clean spot on your palette and brush the paint off like this. I even like to scrape it gently on the side to try to get as much of the yellow paint off of the brush and onto the palette as possible. Rinse it off and then grab just a tiny bit of red, just a teeny bit. Perfect. Mix it in with yellow. <gasps> Did you see that? Did yours change colors? Maybe just a little bit. It looks a little bit more gold. A little bit of red mixed with a lot of yellow makes yellow orange. Now let's add this to our column. I'm going to paint some rectangles. You can start by outlining the shape and then fill it in. Ooh, that's beautiful. Now let's see if we can make a lighter shade of this color. Dip your brush into your water cup, but don't swirl. Just wipe some of the paint off on the lip like this. Paint another rectangle underneath the first one. Does it look a little different? Now let's try dipping our brush in our water cup again and wipe off just a little bit more paint. Ooh, I'm starting to see it now. What about you? Is the water making the orange color a little bit lighter? To create lighter shades of color with watercolor, all we need is to add more water. More water and less paint means lighter colors. Let's keep going until we filled up this whole column.
check it out. Does your last rectangle look lighter than the first one? On to the second column. This one will be good old orange. Can you see anything around you that is orange? This time, grab a little more red on your brush by brushing red paint a couple of times like this. Maybe a little more. Now mix it in with yellow paint on your paint palette. It's just like magic. Look at it transform into another shade of orange. This color reminds me of pumpkins. What does it remind you of? Load it up on your brush and then we will start a new column. That should do it. Let's make a new rectangle in the second column. Whoa! Now that's orange. You see how different it is from the first one? Okay, just like before, dip your brush in your water cup, wipe off a little bit of paint for your second rectangle to make a lighter shade of orange. We'll keep going again until this whole column is filled up. Happy painting! Marvelous. For our last column, let's create red orange. Red orange is the color of fires, autumn leaves, and Ariel's hair from Little Mermaid. Can you think of anything else that's red orange? All right, last time, brush red again a few more times to mix it in with the orange paint you already have on your paint palette. It should look a lot more red, but not quite red. Something like this. Now let's add it to our paper, starting at the top. You're a pro at this now. Work your way down the paper until the whole column is full. Beautiful. These colors look amazing. And I tell you what, they're going to look super great on our butterfly, which means it's time to carefully put this experiment to the side. Take out your watercolor paper with your butterfly. Did you guess why our butterfly is carrying a suitcase? It has something to do with a word called migration. Every year, hundreds of thousands of monarch butterflies pack up their things and head south for the winter. Of course, they don't actually have suitcases, but that's the cool thing about art. We can use our imaginations. We're going to paint each of these shapes a different shade of orange. You can look at your color experiment for any ideas. Let's start with red orange since we already have that mixed together. Paint a couple of shapes with this color. Notice how I use the tip of my brush to get around any small little nooks and crannies.
Rinse a little paint off to create a lighter shade of red-orange and paint a few more shapes. Let's mix in some more yellow to reverse red-orange back to orange. Fill in some more shapes. going to rinse off some of the orange paint so I can create lighter shades of orange. For the remaining shapes, I'll mix in a little bit more yellow to create yellow-orange and fill in the remaining spaces, rinsing off a little bit of paint to create lighter shades as well. Voila! Look at how beautiful these wings are. This butterfly is almost ready for takeoff. We just need to give that suitcase and the body of our butterfly some color and it'll be good to go. I think I'll paint the suitcase brown, but you can paint it any color you like. Great job, everybody. Last thing, don't forget to sign your work of art and show it to all your friends and family. After all, this is a masterpiece. Thank you so much for painting with me today. I hope you had fun. Stay tuned for more YouTube tutorials and check out artwithlauren.com for live classes. Until next time, happy painting.